In this tutorial, you will learn how to create colorful 3D plastic letters using the 3D extrude and bevel effect and also an all-purpose plastic look that you can save in the graphic styles and use it in other projects. So let's go. Open the Adobe Illustrator. Here, I have used the Adobe Illustrator CC. You can use it or another like Adobe Illustrator CS6. Open a new document. Take the type tool and type the text. Here, I have wrote the text, plastic. Set the text font family, Anjaliane accent normal. You can get the font download link from the description box. Keep the text selected and go to object, expand. Now go to object, ungroup, so that each letter will be separate to each other's. Take a rectangle tool and draw a square. Fill it as a random color because the size and the fill color are not important at this point. Keep the rectangle object selected and go to Effect 3D Extrude and Bevel. In the 3D Extrude and Bevel options, check the preview. Set X axis minus 18 degree, Y axis minus 26 degree, Z axis 8 degree, extrude depth 35, bevel, rolling, set the light as your requirement. And click OK. Select the square with the 3D effect applied and from the appearance panel. Drag the thumbnail into the graphic styles panel to save it. Now select each letter and apply this stylion, this letter. Now fill the each color with different color. Here I have used the following colors on it. Select the letter P and from the color picker, fill its color RGB value is R equals 235, G equals 30, B equals 121. Select the letter L and from the color picker, fill its color, RGB, value is, R equals 238, G equals 134, B equals 76. Select the letter A and from the color picker, fill its color, RGB. Value is, R equals 250, G equals 236, B equals 33. Select the letter, S, and from the color picker, fill its color, RGB, value is, R equals 138, G equals 196, B equals 63. Select the letter, T, and from the color picker, fill its color, RGB, value is, R equals 96, G equals 255, B equals 255. Select the letter, I, and from the color picker, fill its color, RGB, value is, R equals 133, G equals 176, B equals 230. Select the letter, C and from the color picker, fill its color, RGB, value is, R equals 204, G equals 204, B equals 204. Now, we would like to change the rotation of each letter using the 3D extrude and bevel options window. For the letter P, set the x-axis minus 8 degree, Y axis, minus 26 degree, Z axis, 8 degree. For the letter, L, set the X axis, minus 18 degree, Y axis, minus 26 degree, Z axis, minus 8 degree. For the letter, A, set the X axis, minus 18 degree, Y axis, 20 degree, 
z-axis, 8 degree. For the letter, s, set the x-axis, minus 17 degree, y-axis, minus 19 degree, z-axis, 6 degree. For the letter, t, set the x-axis, 18 degree, y-axis, minus 26 degree, z-axis, 8 degree. For the letter, I, set the x-axis, minus 18 degree, y-axis, minus 15 degree, z-axis, 8 degree. For the letter, C, set the x-axis, minus 18 degree, y-axis, minus 26 degree, z-axis, 8 degree. Next, let's create the all-purpose plastic look. First, draw a square, any size, and fill it with the linear gradient. In the gradient panel, create two gradient point in the position 25%, 75% location. In the 0% gradient position location, set the color mode RGB where R equals 255, G equals 255, B equals 255. In the 25% position location, set the RGB color value as R equals 196, G equals 196, B equals 196. In the 75% position location, Set the RGB, color value is, R equals 255, G equals 255, B equals 255. In the, 100% position location, set the RGB, color value is, R equals 187, G equals 187, B equals 187. Set the angle. 180 degree. Go to the Appearance panel, open the drop-down menu, and choose Add New Fill. Use the same gradient, just change the angle value back to 45 degrees. Set the Blending Mode to Difference. Now, go to Effect Menu, Artistic, Plastic Wrap. In the plastic wrap window, set, highlight strength, is 20, detail is, 12, and smoothness is, 11. Now click OK. Next, go to, effect menu, stylize, feather. In the feather window, check the preview, and set the radius, 12 pixels. Set, the blending mode, to luminosity and reduce the opacity to 65%. You can now save the plastic style by dragging the thumbnail into the graphic styles panel. Select the letters and from the object menu choose expand appearance. Use the direct selection tool to select only the front paths and recolor them. Select the first letter P, and from the gradient panel, 0% position, RGB value is, R equals 255, G equals 128, B equals 255. 100% position, RGB value is, R equals 219, G equals 0, B equals 0, comma and angle, minus 25 degree. Select the letter, L, and from the gradient panel, 0% position, RGB value is, R equals 243, G equals 144, B equals 63, and 100% position, RGB value is, R equals 231, G equals 50, B equals 47. Select the letter, A and from the gradient panel, 0% position, RGB value is, R equals 243, 
g equals 144, b equals 63, and 100% position, RGB value is, R equals 254, G equals 215, B equals 74. Select the letter, S, and from the gradient panel, 0% position, RGB value is, R equals 136, G equals 197, B equals 89 and 100% position, RGB value is, R equals 0, G equals 179, B equals 108. Select the letter, T, and from the gradient panel, 0% position, RGB value is, R equals 64, G equals 204, B equals 242, and 100% position. RGB value is, R equals 0, G equals 113, B equals 186. Select the letter, I, and from the gradient panel, 0% position, RGB value is, R equals 112, G equals 163, B equals 215, and 100% position, RGB value is, R equals 74, G equals 60, B equals 130. Select the letter, C, and from the gradient panel, 0% position, RGB value is, R equals 181, G equals 167, B equals 208, and, 100% position, RGB value is, R equals 230, G equals 230, B equals 230. Select letter P with the direct selection tool. Go to the layers panel and drag this path out of its group above it then ungroup. Now, you can apply to this path the plastic style from the graphic styles panel. So, you can see that plastic effect has been applied on the letter P. Do the same for the other letters on by one. Finally, you can see the plastic effect has been applied on the letters. Now, we would like to create plastic letters matching background. Take the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over the background. Press Shift plus Control plus third bracket to send background to back. Apply the gradient color for the background. Set to gradient point, in position 0% and 100%. In the 0% gradient position location, set the color light pink, which RGB color value, R equals 255, G equals 206, B equals 255. In the 100% gradient position location, set the color light sky blue, which RGB, color value, R equals 191, G equals 227, B equals 255. Change the gradient angle as you want. Keep the background rectangle object selected and apply the plastic style from the graphic styles panel. From the transparency panel, Set the opacity, 35%. Here, is the final result, with the 3D plastic letters, and, a matching background. Now, you can save it, as an Adobe Illustrator format, by the, file, save as.
Again, you can export it, as in, image format. Hope you enjoyed, this tutorial, and goodbye.